if you really want a good skincare routine go see a dermatologist most likely those people that you watch with good skin already asking them for the skincare routine they're just gonna go grab any product if they can get some of them in collaboration they will add it in and then they will just slap it in the face and say that's their skincare routine when they barely wash their face come on now let's be honest oh, me, J -J 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 -J, take me J -J -J -O. back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna be doing trends that we are living in 2019 okay first of all if you are new to the channel you already know what to do yes you do definitely make sure you subscribe down below I invite you to do so and make sure you also turn on the bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber you already know we're right here it's all love and make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You'll be in the description box down below because I do have secret giveaway that I announce on those that I don't always announce here on YouTube. So make sure you follow me on those social media platforms so you can get a chance to enter my giveaways when I have them on my social media platforms. And yeah, let's get started. First, we need to stop using Facetune so much. Like, the catfish is crazy. Like, I see you in person and I see your social media is not the same person. Like, the catfish just need to relax, okay? It's okay, you know, to touch up here and there, you know, blemishes, you know, you know, eye bag, you know, smooth that up. But it becomes too much when, like, your face has no structure. Like, you face tuned it to the point that we don't even see your jawline. We don't see the bridge. Of, like, it's crazy. It's crazy, okay? So let's just relax with those, okay? Like, let's let's chill with the face tune. Because there's no way I see you in real life and I see your social media is two different people. Like, who is she? Who is that person on your Instagram? Not you. You posting someone else's pictures on your Instagram? Maybe so, because yeah, it's not adding up. You are not her, she's not you. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to relax with the face tune because... It's okay to do a little bit, you know, touch up here and there, but it can be to the point that we can't recognize you, bro. Like, sis, chill with that, okay? The second thing I would like to talk about is the mental health. I feel like everybody just use mental health and just slap it on everything. Like, we all have mental breakdown, okay? It's just that some people, like, can take it better than others, okay? So, just because you have a little mental breakdown because you lost $10 doesn't mean that you have mental issues like let's just be honest okay i feel like people just use it anyhow and just for anything okay and a lot of y'all just be like i have social anxiety like let's stop it let's stop it because people that really have those mental issues social anxiety and all that don't really talk about it as much as people that really think they have it do because let's be honest we all at some point of our life feel down you know want to cry it's okay to cry a little bit but it's not okay for you just because someone ate your food you you start crying and you think you have mental issues like come on now like we need to relax with those okay because those are serious topic that i feel some type of way for people that just you know use it anyhow like that's just me being being honest like when i when i see a lot of people on social media oh my god i had a mental breakdown i have social anxiety i have mental issues just to get likes and retweets and couple of comments saying oh my god i also felt like hurting myself a couple of days ago it's under the post that's not okay that's not okay okay that is not okay let's stop using it for clout because at this point you're using it for attention mental health issues social anxiety all those issues that we have mentally are no jokes. So let's not use it and slap it on anything because it's not a freaking tag. Let's stop putting on our clothes just to show off, okay? Let's stop using those type of terms because you need to be really like sure that you have those mental issues. If you think you may have them, go to the hospital, be diagnosed with the issue, and then come and talk about what your doctor told you about you having the issue. Don't be like, oh my God, I have it when you don't ever know. You never went to the doctor. Your doctor never said that you had mental issues. But you are self-diagnosing yourself and telling the world just for, to have a couple of people commenting on your, on your, on your posts and a couple of retweets and a couple of likes. Like, come on now. We're not doing that in 2020. We're not doing that. It's a whole new decade for crying out loud. We are not doing that, okay? Something else we have to live in 2019 is the freaking cancel culture. Come on now. Come on now. Let's leave it here. 
I know sometimes, you know, it's a little cute to, you know, be like, oh, we're canceling this person. But we're not using that. that the cancel culture just have to stay in 2019. Because at this point, people are abusing. Like, we are not doing that, okay? The other thing I wanted to make sure I touch base on is people feeling like, oh, my God, what's your sign? Oh, you're an Aquarius? I could feel that energy. No, honey, I'm a Pisces, first of all. You can't feel nothing. Let's stop, because that's how people, like, people use that to break the ice nowadays. Like, literally, you walk in a room, oh, I feel Aquarius walking by. No, honey, I'm a Pisces. Like, relax. Just be like, hey, hi, how are you? Like, we can have a conversation. You don't have to be talking about signs, because first of all, not a lot of people know much about signs. So you be like, I feel the energy of this sign walking by or walking in the room because you saw someone walking in the room. You thought they were this sign. Let's stop that. Let's stop that. It's, it's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense, okay? Another thing we need to leave in 2019 is asking for skincare routine to your favorite social media influencers that already have perfect skin. Because let's be honest, okay? You want them to make that skincare routine, they're going to make it with product that one they're gonna be in collaboration with which means they're gonna get paid for it two you're gonna watch it so your views they're gonna get paid for it so either way they're making money okay most likely those people that you watch with good skin already asking them for the skincare routine they're just gonna go grab any product if they can get some of them in collaboration they will add it in and then they will just slap it in the face and say that's their skincare routine when they barely wash their face come on now let's be honest let's stop that if you really want your skin to be clear go see a dermatologist also on here on youtube you can and see some videos of people that have knowledge in skincare and stuff like that those videos yes you can watch those videos to get how to clear up your skin or skincare routine so you know that the information that I give you is true because some of these most of these shall I say shade no shade of these social media influencers are just slapping any product just because y'all asked for a video and they were in partnership with some other company that does in skincare and boom here's my skincare routine you run and buy the product and guess what it messes up your face even more or it doesn't work like come on now let's be a bit more smarter than that okay the last thing i would like to touch on is plastic surgery it's okay sis like y'all already know i'm all natural like your girl don't got no plastic surgery yeah like nothing on me is fake but i'm gonna just say one thing okay if i go and i comment under somebody's picture that had plastic surgery and say that oh wow the body's goes or the body's bomb don't come under my comment and tell me it's fake Cause obviously I most likely know that her body's fake. Let's say I go on Cardi B picture and I say her body's goals. Don't come in and be like, oh, you. I hope you know that the, that body's fake. Okay, I, I, I most likely know. But guess what? Her body's two goals. Like not because you don't got the money to go get your body. That means that you have to knock someone else that did it. Okay, because I feel like if you had the money to get your body done, you would have done the same. Okay, let's start with that. Cause I feel like a lot of people always want to pick on or judge people that got their body done first of all people do it for different reasons like literally different reasons so you don't know what the struggle you don't know what they're going through or what made, made them get that surgery but since you are the outsider looking in you just want to judge you just want to point out let's stop that okay let's leave it in 2019 it is okay they do what they got to do with their body it's their body it has nothing to do with you. Like, we need to really understand how to mind our business in 2020. Like, we need to mind our business, mind the business that pays you. If you're talking about her body doesn't pay you, why are you talking about it? Why are you talking about it? Obviously, she's getting her likes. Obviously, she's getting her comments. Why do you got to come and be like, oh, it's fake, though? Like, okay. Let's leave it in 2019 because let's not take it to 2020, okay? For crying out loud, 2020 is a whole new decade. Whole new decade. So there's so many things that you guys need to really live in 2019. And these were just a couple. So if you want a part two of this video, definitely make sure you thumbs up this video and let me know in the comment section down below because I can go on and on and on. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to make sure you guys first grasp this information and I'll put a part two if you guys need me to do so. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, once again, don't forget to subscribe down below. It's free. Turn on your notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It will be in the stream box down below. Once again, I do secret giveaways on those that I do not always announce here on YouTube. So for a chance to get in those giveaways and win, make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. On my social media platforms. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Mwah. Happy New Year. Bye.
They can't see you whining. They need to see you whining. Plop, mm, 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 mm. plop. I'm out. Hi, cutie. You're so, you're so crazy.